Cece, and today I am here with my girlfriend, Janelle, because we are going to be doing the girlfriend tag. So we are here in New York together filming some videos, and we want to do at least one video that was like a gay video, since it's June and it's Pride, and a lot of people wanted us to do the girlfriend tag. So um, we have the questions here on Janelle's kitty phone, <laughs> and we're going to answer them. Uh, yeah. Here we go. That's it. That's the whole intro. Question one. Where did we meet? Day two, college orientation. In August of, or, well, it would have been, yeah, it yeah, would have been August, August 2013. 2013. Yep. yep. First day, I saw Cece. Of the first day of orientation, I saw this girl here uh, in one of the terrible orientation events. Mm -hmm. And she was wearing a Supernatural t-shirt. And I was like, oh, man, I could talk to her. Yeah, I was like... I mean, I've watched, like, one season of Supernatural. I've been in. <laughs> and I was like, oh, she, is, she looks kind of gay. Um, and then the <laughs> no, next there day. There we go. <laughs> Let's go for honesty. The next day, um, there was a dinner. Like, a, all the freshmen were at the dinner. And I went up to her where she was sitting at a table. And I was like, hey, can I sit with you? I saw you yesterday. You were wearing a Supernatural shirt. And that day, you were wearing a Doctor Who shirt, I and I was like, Doctor oh shit, I've never watched Doctor Who. No, I don't have an in anymore. I don't have an in anymore, but I sat down and started talking, and that's how we met. That is how we met. Second day of college. And now we're graduates. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. That's scary. Question two is, where was our first date? That's hard. That's hard, because I have no idea. No idea. I have no idea what constitutes as our first date. If we did something for Valentine's Day, maybe? Yeah, remember you tried to cook pasta and you couldn't <laughs> cook it? That's right, because we had a terrible stove that yeah. didn't work in she our tried, dorm. Yeah, she tried to cook pasta for Valentine's Day in our dorm, and she couldn't get it to work, and she didn't make enough pasta, so there was just, like, this one tiny bowl of it, and that was... <gasps> I swear I can cook pasta. It's the dorm's fault, not mine. <laughs> but I, that wasn't... We didn't go anywhere. We didn't was, go anywhere, um, no. Date is, is, is a hard term to pin down and not something we really kept track of as far as a first. I kind of always consider... This isn't, like, our first date because we weren't dating, mm -hmm. but I do the have... The Yeah. Uh, when our first year of college, so this would have been October 2013, mm -hmm. we went to... This was the first time we went to New York together. We went to um, the... That's nice, because we're in New York. Yeah. Now. We went to the Bronx Botanical Gardens, and they're super nice. And it was all pumpkin-y, because it was uh, October. Yeah. I could, you, we weren't officially together yet, but that was like... Yeah. She, she didn't know she loved me yet, but... Uh, <laughs> but she was working her game I was, magic. I was working my game magic. <laughs> um, Clearly it worked. Yeah. Well, and that's actually really nice, because after we went to... The Botanical Gardens, mm -hmm. we wandered for a really long time trying to find food, and we're getting ever more frustrated, and we finally wandered into this diner that we ate at, and it was really good, and then we haven't been able to find it for four years, and last, last night, night, when we were wandering around the city, we happened upon the diner from that day. Yeah. We looked in the window, and we were like, there <laughs> it is! That's where we sat! <laughs> yep. So it's a, it's a nice bit of symmetry. This too. sounds fake, but like that's it's that not. actually happened last <laughs> night. We had people with us who were like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, and we're like, "Look, it's the, it's the diner we ate at." All right, question three: What was your first impression of me? Well, I sort of already said I saw her and I was like, mm, "Nerd," and I thought, "Nerd T-shirt," and then I thought, "She looks like she could be gay." Impression of me? I mean. My very first impression was that you must have been outgoing because I wasn't willing to go up and talk to anybody. Mm. So to have the fact that you came up and talked to me and that you were like, you were wearing a Supernatural shirt last night, I was like, outgoing in fandom. Yeah, that's fair. That was kind of my impression. So do you have any weird obsessions? If so, what? Uh, she has a weird obsession with books. It's not weird. It's not weird, but Jesus Christ! This is a booktube channel. Yeah. I hear a lot about books. You, it's not a weird obsession, but you're hyper-obsessed with planning. Yeah. Planning an organization and mm. that kind of stuff. Um, sometimes you can get really obsessed with, like, music. Yeah, I do and go through music. Like, music. curating her own, finding new music, playing music on her guitar. How long have we been together? Uh, two and we're closing it on two and a half years. Yep. So, it was what? February 20th, 2015? Yeah. 
February 2015. So next month will be two and a half years. That's a long time. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Do you have any traditions? Oh shit. Oh. We have like lame traditions. Yeah, going to Chipotle and Panera. <laughs> Chipotle on Fridays, Panera on Sundays. Um. Other than that, I mean, I don't know if this counts as a tradition, but, like, we can't get through a Thanksgiving without taking a Thanksgiving selfie. Yeah, that's kind of, like, a tradition. That's a low-key tradition. Um, I think it can be a little hard to have traditions if you don't, when you're not in the same place all the time. Yeah, because we have had to go through phases of being long distance. Yeah, I mean, like, we were, for the past two years, for four months out of the years, we weren't together. So, yeah. I mean, that makes it, I think, a little harder when you don't have, like, Living in a dorm, I think, makes it hard to have traditions, too. Yeah. I could see us having more traditions. Once once we, like, live in a place together. Yeah. I mean, we're really into decorating, like, for we holidays. Are. That's, we're... like, kind of a tradition. Yeah, and, like, pulling up the big music playlists, pulling out our boxes of decorations yeah. and getting really And I could see it. that becoming even more of a tradition. Uh, what was our first road trip? Our first, like, official road trip? Yeah. Because would that be spring break this year? That would be our first, like, official one. Yeah. When we went spring break, we went to New England. Yeah. Area. There's a vlog about yeah. it. If you want to go watch it, um, I'll link it. But remember, we went... Well, what about when we went to ACDC? That's what I was going to say, yeah. We went to a convention in Atlantic City, the Atlantic City Boardwalk mm -hmm. Con, and that was, like, a three and a half hour drive. Yeah, well, three. Three hours. Yeah. Um, so that was like a low key road yeah. trip, but we did drive to Atlantic City together to go to a convention, mm -hmm. and that was our first time like we got a hotel room, which yeah. was very grown up of us. What do we argue about the most? We argue about the stupidest shit the yeah. most. We never argue about anything like that intense. Eh. Okay, we do. But if we argue, it's always like little tiffs that are stupid. We once <laughs> had a throw down in the grocery store about over lemonade. lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> like people were looking at us. We were very upset about getting the correct brand of lemonade. And, like, we're laughing, but it was not it a was laughing. It was not a laughing matter. We were very angry yeah. at each other. <laughs> but, like, real talk, like, I mean, we do argue. Yeah, like, we do. I mean, <laughs> if you don't argue, then yeah. we argue. Not a lot, but we have tiffs. Yeah, we have, we have tiffs. I mean, also, I... It doesn't help that our two living experiences are living in a box together together for months at a time yeah. and living on the opposite ends of the country. It it is too extreme. <laughs> it's too extremes and I think first of all if you don't argue as a couple what are you doing? There, I, there's just, like, no way to not have yeah. arguments with the person that you're with. Mm -hmm. um, but being in super close quarters or long distance yeah. are both ways that you can get kind of, like, miscommunication can happen. Yeah. So. Um, I'm not answering that. That's sexist. Who wears the pants? <laughs> who is the handmaiden? <laughs> and who is the feudal lord in the relationship? Well, we're both wearing pants right now, so. <laughs> This one's dumb too. If I'm watching TV, what am I watching? HGTV. HGTV. Both of us. <laughs> Both of us are watching HGTV. Yeah. What is one food I don't like? I don't like anything. You, yeah. I'm such a picky eater. Oh, you don't like fruits in any of your desserts. You don't no. really love fruit unless it's like a melon. Well, and I like fruit, like, I like smoothies. You do like smoothies, but you don't just like eating fruit. No. She, I mean, you don't like, you don't like super rich desserts. No, I don't. Um, you don't like seafood. You don't like, like, no, you don't like, like, shellfish that much. No, that's true. Like, I'll eat it, but yeah. I'm not really good. And you're not, a cute, you don't eat a shit ton of vegetables either. No, I have you're very not. specific vegetable yeah. loves. <laughs> you don't like anything that's, like, beverage-wise that's too, like, in your face. Yeah. Too sweet or too bitter? Eat too sweet or bitter. You need, like, in the I middle. in the middle. So that I answered. That's why I'm drinking a very low-key latte. Yeah. And not something black and not a frappuccino because those are two scary yeah. things after. Um, my least favorite thing is tomatoes. All right. Well, I was close. What size shoe do I wear? You wear a size six because you have baby feet. You wear an eight and a half. Or an eight. Eight. More like an eight. Hey, we knew those things. What is one talent I have? 
I mean, she has so many talents. Aww. Guitar. I mean, doing this and editing this. Um, writing. There's more. She's a talented lady. That was so sweet. Oh, God. Getting all sappy on me. Okay, I know we've already said this is like an obsession, but you're <laughs> incredibly good at planning, at putting stuff together, at... I don't know, at figuring stuff out the way mm -hmm. I definitely don't have a skill at. Um, you're also really good at finding stuff, like unexpected stuff. Not like finding things I've lost, I'm terrible no, 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 at no. that. That's, no, that's, neither of us are good at that. No, I, um, I leave a trail of objects behind me everywhere like, I go. But like finding stuff to do that's totally yeah. unexpected, mm -hmm. you're excellent at gift giving. You're so good at it. <laughs> what is my favorite cereal? Favorite cereal is Frosted Flakes. And yours is Cocoa Krispies. No. No? I mean, I guess I like Cocoa Krispies. I don't know if I have a favorite cereal. All right. Well, I tried. You like those? You like, don't you like Fruit Loops? I guess. She's not passionate enough. What is my favorite music? You mean alternative, rock, or classic rock? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you <laughs> lean alternative, but more on the folksy singer-songwriter side of alternative. Yeah, but you, I think I go both. You, she does, yeah. There's, you are, but I would say your music taste is very firmly in alternative. Oh, yeah. And it's, it goes, yeah, it goes both ways. I would say you like, like, mostly alternative, but then I go real folksy. Real folksy. Or, like, real, like, alt-rock. Yeah. <laughs> What is something you do that I wish you didn't? So, I guess, what is something you do that... What's a pet peeve? Sometimes CC gets really, like, oh, okay. behind on life. <laughs> okay. Well, no! It's totally not where like, I thought you were she going. She turns into, like, kind of a mess. Yeah. Like, suddenly, like, she, she'll have time to do stuff, and she won't do it. And then all of a sudden, it's all piled up into one big pile of stuff to do. And then she gets stressed, and then she loses her mind. That's fair. But that's the thing. Like, I don't know. I just, I hate seeing her get that stressed out. Especially because normally, at least one or two of the things are, like, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. And she worries about it. There's <laughs> a whole host of things you could say about me. So. No. <laughs> uh -huh. And guess what I was going to say? I think you're too hard on yourself. <laughs> my point there. That's fair. I, yeah, I think that you're just way too hard on yourself, especially, I mean, around the same time, once it hits finals, yeah. it's like, I'm stressed, but, like, you know, I'm just stressed, and I feel like you heap everything on yourself, and you're like, I'm never going to do anything right ever again. Yeah. What can I spend hours doing? Um, you can spend hours figuring out a problem, Planning something. Researching a thing that you're passionate about. Watching TV. True. Um, for you, reading. Yeah. You can spend hours reading, too. Yeah. Reading. Like I was talking about, finding music. She yeah. goes hardcore. I think you have a tendency, more than me, to get lost on the internet for hours. I do. Um, I can disappear into the internet. Yeah. Um, talking to me, you know. Yeah, of course course we can talk like it's nobody's business oh my god we can talk forever oh yeah we will like set up a skype call and be like okay we're gonna talk for like an hour yeah. and three and a half hours yeah. later we'll be like we should probably go to bed yeah all right last question Woo. if i could live anywhere where would it be mm -hmm. i don't know if you're gonna get this for me i don't know if i'm gonna get this for you either i don't know if we're gonna get this for you i don't know <laughs> If we're talking dream, like her dream place to live, the beach. Huh. Okay. I feel like you've said that. Um, I, I used to say that. I know, that's the problem. And actual, but like, like we're not, we're, we're never going to live at the beach. That's not going to happen. Um, we're English majors, both of us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> neither of us had the intelligence to go and marry, you know, go and find like an engineer no. or a doctor or a lawyer. No. English majors. Um, Practically, I have no idea where your dream, like, I don't know, with me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, I would love to live in London. 
Again. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's that's also impractical. It's that's impractical. Happen. But we did live there together yeah, for about no. three months. I would love to live in London for like six months. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dream location, mm-hmm. I think, for you is um, not in the middle of the woods, but a a secluded area, a house with like a lot of land yeah. that's just for us, but also close enough to people that we can see them and won't feel that if an axe murderer comes to kill us. Um, there'll be people around to save us. Which I'm, you know, I'm also yeah. into that. You know, according to our HGTV watching, Carolinas seem yeah. like a good place to purchase. Yeah. Housing costs are low there. And that's near the beach. Oh man, that is near the beach. Okay, <laughs> so this was the Girlfriend Tag. I hope that you enjoyed hearing us answer some of these questions. If you have any comments, please share them below. I would love to read them, so would you know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye. Love ya. (laughs) (laughs) I love you too. (gasps) Fine, you're gonna get a thing on your cheek. (laughs) (laughs) It worked.